I have the secret to the juiciest ever roast turkey breast, you guys. Maybe you don't wanna work on an entire bird, maybe you wanna just roast the turkey breast for sandwiches. You're gonna love this recipe. It is jazzed up Mediterranean style, and I have two tips that make all the difference. All right, it's a turkey party. Okay, admittedly, I'm too lazy to work on an entire big turkey and I have a smaller family, so I always go for the breast, and I have figured out how to keep it nice and juicy, super tender, and amazingly delicious. The first tip, you guys, this turkey breast half has been chilling in the fridge with a lot of salt already, and the salt worked its magic to tenderize it and give it a ton of flavor. So what I do is one night in advance, I work on my turkey breast by seasoning it all over with some kosher salt and go underneath the skin. Don't forget that, so see what it looks like? This is an air chilled, already seasoned turkey breast. We're gonna leave it at room temperature now for a little bit while we work on the rest of this party. This first step is optional. I like to serve some roasted grapes with my turkey, just something a little fancy that doesn't take a whole lot of effort. So you've got a few grapes here, and we're gonna start by roasting these babies while we kind of season our turkeys. A little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I'm using my private reserve, Greek Evu. You can find it on the MediterraneanDish.com. Just hit the shop tab when you get there. And just a sprinkle of kosher salt. Beautiful roasted grapes are the perfect complement to this turkey. Again, this is totally optional, but I start here. I have the oven set on 450 degrees. These babies are gonna go in there for 15 minutes or so. While they roast, I am going to work on spicing the turkey. Multitasking. <laughs> All right. First, we're gonna put together our spice mixture in this one little bowl here. I have three spices, allspice, nutmeg, and paprika. They're gonna go into this bowl with my black pepper. And we do this, you guys, so that we can get an even coating of spices on our turkey. So one teaspoon allspice, one teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh, it smells good already. Let's mix this all together. We don't need salt in this mixture because we've already salted our turkey and chilled it well. If you have the time, do chill your turkey with the salt for a good couple hours or overnight. I like to start underneath the skin because that's where the flavor is gonna stick. And flip it on the other side as well. This is looking good already. I have one more step to season my turkey. See, there's three steps to getting the best flavor on your turkey. The salting overnight or even for a couple hours in your fridge. Then we have the spice rub. Then we have some garlic, olive oil, shallots, and celery. It is so good. Let's get some fresh parsley, a good big bunch. Anchor your knife and chop like a pro. A good head of garlic minced, so that's about, oh, I would say maybe anywhere between 10 and 14 garlic cloves. And then a good one third to half a cup extra virgin olive oil. The good stuff, because you want a good tasting turkey. But don't forget to go underneath the skin because again, that's where all the glory of this turkey is. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil on the skin. This will help it gain some great color. All the flavoring is happening right now. I'm gonna grab my grapes out and we're gonna stick the turkey in. Oh, so good. These are looking amazing, so juicy. I'm gonna remove them, and we're gonna add them in later. But they're looking good. <laughs> okay, now we go in with some celery and some shallots. We have seven shallots here cut in half. 
these beauties are serving me here as a nice bed for my turkey. So here we go, turkey goes in. Another tip for you guys, the oven has been heated to 450 degrees, right? As soon as we put this in, we're gonna turn it down to 350. We're gonna let the turkey roast for, oh, a good 45 minutes or so, maybe part way through. If the skin is looking too dark and the turkey isn't finished, you're gonna cover it and let it finish cooking covered. So, I'm gonna walk you through it, super easy. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes now. I'm going to cover it and then stick it back in the oven for a few more minutes. Okay, let's see how this whole thing turned out. Ooh. Oh. All right. I'm gonna add in my beautiful grapes to warm through. And if it needs a little broiling, you can do that to give the skin the color that you need. Looking good. Just because it's not the whole bird doesn't mean we couldn't jazz it up. Grab one of my Mediterranean salads. I've got lots of those here on the channel. Grab the recipe for roast turkey breast over on the Mediterranean dish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.